Hey there, back with another little quick tutorial. This one's about color. Um, so this book, Big Game Saga, rotates between black and white and color to denote like time periods, which is pretty awesome. When it goes back into feudal Japan, it's black and white. When it goes into the future, or like yeah, present day, basically, it's in full color. So what I like to do, or what I've been liking to do, especially on this book lately, is to block in colors as a base layer first so i'm blocking in the dude right his coat is that blue his shirt is that gray his skin is that color and it's just real basic flat colors super flat like no i'm not trying to model him in any way or anything like that uh <clears throat> and then i'll go back in and i'll clean some stuff up after doing my fill buckets and all that business and uh you know there's a little bit of detail but not a whole lot. All right, so now I'm blocking in like the house that's behind him, right? Um, I also like to stick to like kind of a uh, real uh, homogenous color palette based on the mood of what's happening, right? So not deviating too far with splashy colors. Uh, what I did up there in that on that top panel was I did a a gradient overlay which I set it to multiply and uh, that sets basically the tone of the color that's happening, if that makes sense, right? So it's supposed to be sunset and he's on the porch smoking a cigarette. So I did a second one that was a hard light overlay just there and I turned everything just like hot pink kind of cool color or whatever. But what it's doing is it's affecting those colors underneath. So his skin is still skin color if he was in hard like office lighting but since he's outside in the sunset, it modifies that and changes it, right? Same thing with this with this uh, time machine that I just colored. I colored the whole thing gray and stuff, but it's in like this gnarly red light scenario inside of a room, right? So when I did my gradient overlay over it, and I did the steam shooting out of it and all that kind of stuff, it's affecting all those colors underneath there, and you get a lot of really cool results when you do that. So this bottom panel of him opening the door is a little bit more complicated because you've got a light source coming from behind him and a light source coming from inside, right? So the inside light source, I had to select certain areas to make that go from a, a, a red, like the red light of the, the, the room that's going, you know, the time machine capsule room, uh, to fade it to nothing as another overlay. And then behind him, I wanted that same kind of light color splash that was happening on the panel above when he's in the room so yeah i don't know um it's been kind of fun messing around with these different overlays to give ideas and things and i don't know it's kind of i, I enjoy it i don't know if you guys enjoy it but anyway thanks for watching i obviously don't know what i'm doing but yeah till next time